Welcome to Dr. Jester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about this from Bound into Comics. First trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse confirms a black Spider-Woman Ixen of Color Ixen. Yeah, before I go on, here's the trailer. Right, so, once again, evidence that, uh, one moment, one moment. No. God damn it. Damn it. Well, that was a waste of time. Right, I was kind of looking for the mosquito that was in there before it sucked my goddamn fucking blood, but uh, I couldn't fucking get it. You pieces of shit. Hmm. Well, on that regard, before I lose more blood, let's continue. Hmm. In the reveal comes as no surprise to anyone who has kept appraised of the film's development and the first trailer for the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse has confirmed that the version of Spider-Woman Ixen of Color Ixen set to appear in the animated sequel will in fact be a race-swapped version of Jessica Drew. So in other words, uh, a derivative of Spider-Man is now getting double derivative. Isn't that amazing? Ah, fuck me. Marvel is once again proving that they are... Um, completely creatively bankrupt they are completely and utterly dead on their heads they cannot have anything respecting the lord or the characters or anything like that obviously they actually have to do a uh, agenda swap because why not it's a retarded but uh, ah what can you do so, instead of at least respecting the and making it a derivative, Spider Woman Ixen, sorry, Spider Woman, instead we get a race swapped because diversity. Look, I'm a Latino. I absolutely fucking hate it when they shove in a Latino character in there just to. Uh, just for diversity purposes, just to check a box. I fucking hate it. I, it, it feels horrible. It feels like I'm just there for checkboxing and things like that. I, I, I end up not identifying with the character or anything like that. I end up identifying with the blonde, blue-eyed guy and more than anything else, because... Why not? And I even identify myself with a character if it's a black woman, if she's well-written and natural in the... In the work, kind of like um, Sleepy Hollow. That the first few seasons was quite good, and I identified with the character in there, and she was a black woman. Take that, right? Well, anyway, if they shove in a Latino in there, just for, uh, guys, why don't you identify it? Well, first and foremost, he's just a shallow character, and she, and he is just there for box checking. It's already kind of cutting the pleasure in there. 
It's horrible. Being reduced to stereotypes and checkboxing is just horrible. Can't Hollywood just go and shove their goddamn fucking retarded nonsense up in the goddamn fucking bunghole and leave it at that, at that and instead of pestering us with woke politics, they can go fuck themselves? Nah. Why not? Ah, right. So at least maybe Mary Jane Watson, MJ, is probably, hopefully, still the original. Why is that a pink Spider-Man? Yeah, I don't want to know. Moving on, and, the, and even a version of uh, Otto Octavius as the superior Spider-Man. Well, I shit on a pickle. Stop doing that. While most of those wall crawlers make their debuts squeak and blink and you miss them cameos, one particular variant gets a, spo a spotlight all of her own. Because of course. Confirming about into comics, previous speculation that Issa Rae is casting as the heroine's voice actors would result in such a change. A Rae swapped Jessica Drew is then seen crashing her motorcycle through the Mount Everest barrier in pursuit of the Da Vinci-inspired version of the Vulture. <sighs> Fuck me. Uh, in moments like this, I'm rooting for the Vulture. I don't know. Was that the entire reason or... Was that their idea for a person to be rooting for the villain? I don't know about you, but uh, it pretty much feels like that, doesn't it? It feels like that. I I I don't get it. What? What? Between this, okay, let's see. Further, not only does this version of Spider Woman Nixon more resemble Misty Knight than her original counterpart, but she is also visibly pregnant. About five months, though, according to Not Out oh, for the Love of God. Between this biological detail and her outfit, it appears that this interpretation of Jessica will be taking heavy inspiration from writer Danny's hopeless infamous run of Spider Woman Nixon, wherein the titular heroine become pregnant and eventually give birth to a son. Gary, of your artificial insemination. Of course, because you could not have an actual man in her life because that's sexism. Fuck me. This is bad. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Enough. You people have already ruined Spider Man. Why not continue ruining it? I'm not goddamn miserably. Fucking hell. Have a great fucking night.